Hello and welcome. Happy New Year to everyone. It is a new year, 2024. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, new Year. year. <laughs> <laughs> I am Rachel Myers. I'm joined here by my good friend and coworker, Riesa Petruzzi, and the amazing, the prophet, Lauren Palazzo. <laughs> We are so happy to be here with you today. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share it. We want to encourage as many people as possible. And by doing those things, you're helping us get out there to more people to encourage. And I just wanted to start by giving a shout out to all of you who have stuck with us for 2023. We started in April 2023, this show of Pro Prophecy Today. And it has been quite the learning experience, mm -hmm. quite the growth experience. <laughs> uh, and it's just been wonderful to have you guys along with us. It's been amazing to minister to you, to see the faithfulness of the Lord as he continues to show up in your life time and time again, and uh, to see your testimonies coming through, through the chats, uh, to see you guys learn to minister to each other prophetically in the chat has just been incredible to watch. Uh, and I just wanted to give a shout out to everybody who's been with us uh, since last year, which I know was a week ago, but <laughs> uh, we're just so thankful for you. We're thankful for how you continue to come uh, and see what the Lord has for you today. And so I just wanted to start off with that. Um, but we just wanted to thank you for 2023. And with that, let's move to Lauren. She's got a word for us today. So Lauren, hmm. what do you have? <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for having me. This has been such a treat. Um, so I feel like in my time of prayer and intercession, uh, I would say maybe the last three or four months, um, I feel like the Lord has been saying that there's going to be an increase of grace coming to his people to pretty much get their house in order and to prioritize him. I just saw um, that he he's going to be um, setting us up for a great encounter. And some of that is moving the things that are distracting us out of our home. We are a house of prayer that holds the Lord. And there's just this grace to just shift some of those things out, even getting with him to be like, Lord, what what do I need to kind of step away from? Or like, what does alone time look like with you? Um, this is definitely not, I didn't necessarily feel like there's a go word in this season, but to, to get low and get deep with him. Um, there is this grace on the secret place where it's like, where it's felt harder to press into him um, with distraction. The Lord is putting a special grace in the secret place right now because he so badly wants to speak to his people. Um, I even saw um, there's a place of friendship in which the Lord really wants people to experience him in. As far as like the revelation that he's going to be revealing to his people, um, not to share it right away, but really practice like going deeper with the words he's giving you. Um, Cause I feel like he wants to show you so much more. So like, it's not the time for a half baked revelation, but to just really, really get the fullness of what he wants to give. Um, it's a maturing process. Um, he really wants, he wants his people mature. And I also heard um, Psalms 5110. This is something I've been praying the last few months, the create in me a pure heart, oh God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. I also feel like this is going to be a time where as we're praying out those words, um, he's going to be revealing even just secret sins, areas that are not um, up to standard. And there's going to be a grace to let things go. He is so, so good to us as our our holy God. So, yay. Oh, that's so good. There's grace in this secret place. So as you press in this year, as you begin to press into what the Lord has for you, as you uh, begin to press in for the new things here in 2024, uh, we just encourage you to just pull on the grace that the Lord has given that he's pouring out, just like Lauren said. So uh, if you are wanting to receive ministry today, we just encourage you to put your name and where you're from in the chat. 
we would love to uh, call out your name as we can. And just remember that the Lord is big enough for every single one of us, that he has more than enough resources for every single one of us. And so if your name is not called today, we just ask that you pull on the resources of heaven for what you need. And maybe a name is called out for somebody else. You can pull on that word too. And so we just wanted to encourage you with that. Amen. And I just um, I just want to echo what Lauren was saying. That was yeah. so good, you know, about um, about kind of meditating on the words that you received from the Lord in 2023. You know, so many times we're just desperate for the fresh word, the new word. Um, but often like there's still depths of revelation that we haven't tapped into because we haven't spent the time to dig into the things that the Lord has already spoken to us, the revelations that he's already spoken to us, because every revelation from the Lord is actually just the tip of the iceberg. And it's always an invitation to go even deeper into that mystery. Even the simple truths of our faith, the simple truth of the gospel actually has depths upon depths of mystery in it. Even the love of God has just depths upon depths of mystery. And so I even feel um, before we start um, prophesying over people individually, I just want to encourage you um, to, to really steward the prophetic words that you have from the Lord. Maybe even if you don't feel like you have had any strong prophetic words from the Lord, um, I'm sure that there are scriptures that really speak to your heart and there are depths of mysteries that the Lord actually wants to encounter you in those words. And so even as we get started today, I want to pray um, over our time. Holy Spirit, I just thank you so much for your presence. We just welcome you. We pray um, for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon everyone watching. Lord, would you just release your ministering angels to everyone as they tune in? We pray for um, baptisms of the Father's love, blessings upon everyone um, today and everyone who tunes in in the future. We bless you in Jesus name. And I pray right now, Lord, would you release that grace to go deeper, to really dig into um, prophetic words from the past and also to dig into what you are currently speaking to us, Lord, and that grace to go deeper into the simple truths um, of our faith. We pray in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. Woo that was good. If you're feeling the presence of God in your room right now, just put a fire emoji in the chat. We just love to see how the Lord is moving right now where you are. And uh, I can feel it right now. So let's go. Um, I actually have a word for Mitchell. I just heard the word courage over you. And I feel like the Lord is actually putting a roar deep down inside of you. Um, I feel like there's a courage rising, 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 even now as we're speaking. And so I bless the courage um, of your heart. I bless you um, to roar with the fire of heaven right now in the name of Jesus. Um, I saw a Frida on there. Um, I, I saw that the Lord has made you like an oven, um, that people, people are like these loaves of bread coming to you. And you're somebody that is so encouraging. You have great insight. Um, and you've been one that like really fosters an environment for people to grow. And I saw the Lord um, kind of turning up the flame in the oven right now. So you're really going to be carrying his fire and even like people experiencing his fire, that all consuming fire so that they can get to maturity. So in Jesus name, I just thank you for the fire on Frida's life. Lord God, I thank you that she's been a safe environment for people to, to grow, for somebody to confide in. Lord God, we just say for to all of that increase, we need as many mothers and fathers in this next move of God as possible. But Lord, I thank you that she is a trusted vessel to carry your fire, Lord God, and to help the children of God into full maturity in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Katie Peterson, um, you posted a fire emoji. And um, when I saw that, um, I was just asking you, your name just grabbed my attention. And I just felt like this weight of the Holy Spirit over you. There's just like this hovering and brooding of the Holy Spirit over your life. I was asking the Lord what he's saying about you, Katie. And he um, just took me to Revelation. 
where it says the spirit and the bride say, come, come, Lord Jesus, Maranatha, Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus. And I hear like the cry of your heart is just saying, come, Lord Jesus, come, Lord Jesus. And there's such an intercessory anointing on your life. And you're just, I feel like in the spirit, you're just constantly pulling on the hem of Jesus's garment. And you're saying, come, Lord Jesus, come into this situation. And I see you praying over the loss and saying, come, Lord Jesus, come into this person's life. And I see you praying over countries and saying, come, Lord Jesus, come into this nation. And I just uh, feel like an encouragement from the Lord that your prayers are, are literally shifting so many things in the spirit and to continue to even press in more in intercession. I feel like the Lord even wants you to invite other people into that place of intercession and even to raise up other intercessors. So Katie, we just bless you in Jesus name. And we pray for just more Holy Spirit of what you're doing in her life. We say more Lord in Jesus mighty name. Yes, Lord, more Lord over her in Jesus' name and more over you as well. Uh, for Herbert um, from Zimbabwe, I just, I feel to encourage you that you are exactly where you need to be. I feel like there's, uh, the Lord is actually moving behind the scenes. He's He's been in a whirlwind. It's like a hurricane and you're in the eye of the hurricane and he's keeping you in perfect peace in the middle of a hurricane. And so I just bless what the Lord is doing on your life and um, in all the little um, circumstances where it could feel like um, just wind blowing in every direction. But I feel like the Lord is actually keeping you in perfect peace wherever you go. And so I bless that peace on your life and I bless you to release that peace as you walk through the streets of your town. And so we bless you with that in the name of Jesus. So I saw Rhonda on here um, and I just heard the words heart healing. Um, I feel like one, the Lord is doing a deep work and revealing himself as the lover of your soul in every area where there's been hope deferred and there's been pain or trauma or just just things have um, just felt like such um, just such sadness in your heart that the Lord is doing a mighty work to remove it. But not only that, I just see you becoming a safe place for other people to experience the heart healing of the Lord and encounter him as lover of your soul. So in Jesus name, Lord God, I thank you for Rhonda. I thank you that you are meeting her in such the tender place, Lord God. And I thank you that through this encounter, Lord God, and through this intimacy with you, that that is also going to be released on your people to heal the hearts of many and just restore a right view of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, Laura, Hannah, I saw you posted a prayer request for healing from um, POTS um, from POTS. And um, I actually... I'm not sure I saw a picture of you and I'm not sure if that affects your ability to exercise. Um, but I just saw the Lord just restoring you. And I, I see the word restoration even written over your head, Laura. And I feel like it's not just in your in your physical health, but the Lord wants to restore relationships. I see some broken friendships that the Lord is going to bring um, restoration to. I even hear him saying he's going to restore your sleep as well. Um, and there's something even in your um, time alone with the Lord. I feel like there's something inside of you that's like, I just I just long to, to get back to that place with the Lord that I have experienced in the past. And I feel like the Lord's going to restore um, just your quiet time, your personal time with the Lord. So Laura, I just, I lift you up in Jesus name. God, we speak to pots to be healed in Jesus mighty name for a complete reset and restoration to every system of her body right now in Jesus name. Anyone else who, who deals with pots, Lord, we just say breakthrough and healing right now in Jesus mighty name. And Lord, would you just restore and touch every part of Laura's life from her relationships to her finances and to her um, her time alone with you, God, just take her deeper in her relationship with you and take her deeper in the secret place in Jesus' mighty name. So I saw a uh, Leonce, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, on here. I saw the Lord um, giving you this, this huge sword, and I feel like you are absolutely a person of the word, but I feel like there's been these buzzing flies around your head that have um, really tried to kind of like challenge, like, did God say that? 
Is that really what the Lord's going to do? Is that really who you are? And I just saw like the Lord coming in power and you really being able to use that sword to just cut through all of those enemy lies. And even just people in your life, like you are standing firm on like, this is what God has said. And you are using the word to cut through every single word that the enemy is speaking that does not like line up with what, who God says and what he has spoken over your destiny. So in Jesus name, I just bless him. And I bless all of you guys that are just struggling with just negative thoughts and the enemy that has been just challenging what the Lord has spoken over your life. I just bless you with that sort of truth to just cut through every single decision deception in Jesus name. Amen. Uh, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all of you who we see your names every week. We see, um, we see Rachel, Sue, Susan, Drew Beatty. We see all of you guys every single week. And it's just such a privilege. Bree, Darren, uh, Shaylin, Pat S. We just wanted to say thank you for being with us. It's just such a privilege to see your names come through. We do notice when your names come through every single week. And uh, those from you, of you from GSD or uh, other uh, connections to Global, we see your names come through. And we're just so thankful for you for being a part of this um, this family, this Global Awakening family. It's just a privilege to do this with you. You know, a little bit later, we're going to be talking about vision and Reese has got some good stuff. We have amazing things this year. We're going to do challenges. Maybe I'll let too much slip. Okay. <laughs> but, um, we're just so excited for what this year has for you guys. And uh, it's just amazing to, to walk this with you. Uh, we're walking with you. Um, and I just wanted to remember that we are not your source, that he is your source. And we just want to uh, empower you to be able to do this in your day as well. So wherever you're going to be able to prophesy, to be able to hear from the Lord for the people in front of you, uh, that's our goal with this. Uh, we want to encourage you. We want to uh, lift your spirits, lift your head to the one who came, to the one who did, did it all and who has all of the resources of heaven. And so I just wanted to kind of pull us in as we said in, into 2024 that uh, he is our source and to remember that he has everything that we need. So even as we go forward today. Yes. So stay tuned. In a little bit, we'll be talking about um, that vision and the challenge um, that we're going to be doing this month. Um, I have a word for Jean Rowe. Um, Jean, I, I heard the phrase heavenly warrior. The Lord calls you a heavenly warrior. And I saw you in a bride's dress in a wedding gown with a sword and you are both the bride of Christ and a warrior. And um, I just feel like, yeah, that warring bride over you that God is, is just kind of stirring you. Um, and it's, it's warring from a place of intimacy. So it's like not warring out of striving. You're not just warring to contend with the enemy. It's actually your intimacy with the Lord is the thing that wars for you in the spiritual realm, because it's actually the blood of Christ on you is what repels the forces of darkness. And um, I just feel like Jean, the Lord is, is I hear like deep calls to deep. And I, I just feel like Jesus really wants to encounter you um, face to face. Um, I'm hearing just even Exodus, how the Lord would descend on the tabernacle, the, the tent of meeting, and he would talk with Moses face to face mm. as one talks to a friend. And Jean, the Lord calls you a friend of God. And there's an invitation to tabernacle with the Lord to really just um, to just make a place for him, to make a tent for him, for his presence to come and rest and for you to have these face to face encounters with the Lord. So I just bless Bless you, Jean, and I pray for that, Lord. I pray for face-to-face -face encounters with God, and I pray that you would take her deeper um, in intimacy with God in this season, in Jesus' mighty name. So I have a word for Mitchell from Oklahoma. I just saw you as the Lord's champion. I saw you with these big, awesome boxing gloves, and I saw your like your face has had some bruises on it, but you have just been going, going, going. Um, and you've been faithful to continue to fight and um, prevail. Um, and I kind of felt like there's been some people in your life. I don't know if it's a boss or even coworkers um, that have 
potentially not been very godly to you. And um, you've been faithful to make sure that you know that it's the enemy and not these people in your life. And I saw even a greater grace coming upon you to really understand that this battle is the Lord and how you pray for people really makes a difference. And that is what wins the battle. And I just saw like after these many rounds of like going head to head and fighting that like you had your arms up, like the Lord is like bringing you victory. And I just thank you even um, more to come from him for the strategies and just how to pray even deeper for the people in his life, how to get vision for what you speak over them and even what you want for the plans for his life. So in Jesus name, I thank you for him to just receive the strategies from heaven and receive your heart for the people in his community, Lord God. I thank you that he is steadfast and faithful, Lord God, and he is your champion in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Well, if you are getting encouraged today, uh, we just encourage you to come to GSD. Uh, applications are still, uh, they close on January 12th. So get in, get in, get in. Uh, but this is our discipleship course, Global Supernatural Discipleship course. Uh, this first one starts here uh January 15th. 15th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it is just amazing to see what the Lord is doing. We have been doing small groups. You get small groups uh, along with this course. And it's just been amazing to see what the Lord is doing in, in our small groups. Yeah. Uh, Reese and I host a small group. And uh, Reese, do you have any testimonies from this week? Yeah. Well, actually, this past week, our small group was discussing evangelism. And one of my small group members shared, um, she just had a lot of fear stepping out in evangelism, but she had um, some workers come over to her house. And before she even saw the workers, she knew they were in the house before she saw them. Um, she got a word of knowledge, red hat. And when she went out, there was actually one of the workers had his, it was like a hood pulled over his head and it was red. And there was another jacket on covering the hoodie itself. So it looked like a hat. So she, she, this was new for her. She said uh -huh. she almost like fell to her knees because she started shaking so much. She knew that the Lord was speaking to her. Oh, and then she worked up the courage Jesus. to talk to him. And she said, the Lord spoke to me before I even saw you, that he wanted me to tell a man with a red hat that God loves him. And that might sound simple, but it was actually really profound because this man used to be um, in the satanic um, cult, uh -huh. in a satanic cult. Wow. And he didn't think that God could ever love him because mm. of what he had done in the past. So that that mm. word actually just completely wow. opened up his heart. He was so touched by that. And she was just shaking um, because the Lord had used her like that. And they exchanged contact information. And she and her husband are going to actually reach out to him because he actually lives very close to them. Wow. And um, she um, has just been so activated um, through doing GSD um, it's all online courses and then it's it's zoom small groups so mm -hmm. she actually lives in europe but i get to see her every week and she's so encouraged because she doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily have community of people on fire right where she's at in her country but she's able to fellowship with people around the world mm -hmm. over zoom each week and so mm -hmm. if you if that's you come on if you don't really have a community of people who are running after the things of the lord um mm -hmm. who aren't um don't have that desire to go deeper in the holy spirit Spirit. I just want you to know you're not alone and yes. you can actually come into a community of believers who are um, seeking just to go after the things of God. Um, and global supernatural discipleship is an amazing opportunity if that's speaking to you. But make sure you get your application in really soon yes. because applications close on the 12th. Yes. Yes. So I got a word for uh, Valerio. I actually, while you guys were talking, I was so drawn to, to your tablet okay. and saw <laughs> Valerio's name on there. Um, I feel like that really the, the name of this season for you is intimacy. I saw the Lord really wanting you to go deep and get quiet, silence the other voices in your life, whatever you have to do to kind of... Um, just really devote the time to the Lord. He wants to reveal some like really intense, beautiful things to you, even about you. Um, the old man is dead. 
Like I can't, I can't say enough how that, that old, that old life of yours is not who you are anymore. And like, you are called to some really profound, wonderful things. I saw the, the Lord just like creating this, this space for you and you entering in and him just revealing even things about the nation for you and even other nations. So in Jesus name, Lord, I bless Valerio, Lord God, for how much you love him and how much you are zealous to meet with him in the secret place. Lord, I thank you that you reveal secrets to your friends, Lord God, and I thank you and I declare that he is your friend and friendship with you is beautiful and it fulfills everything in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Um, before we got on today, um, I heard the Lord speak Patagonia. So I'm not sure if there's someone on who is wearing a Patagonia shirt um, or you um, are wearing some sort of apparel right now that's Patagonia brand. But um, I also heard in connection to that word, I heard um, that the Lord is the one who opens the doors that no man can shut. And so um, if you're wearing that Patagonia shirt, the Lord wants you to know that he's the one who will open the door for you. And it doesn't matter um, what people are doing. It doesn't matter even what people want around you, that if the Lord wants you in that position, the Lord will put you in that position. And I feel like it's actually a job position. And the Lord wants you to know that he is the one who promotes you, that you do not need to self-promote. I feel like you don't even need to um, do anything about the situation. You don't even need to um, kind of try to finagle the situation. Just get on your face before the Lord and wait upon the Lord. And the Lord is the one who will promote you. Um, so if that word is for you, I bless you in Jesus' name. And I ask God that you would open that door that no man can shut and that any scheme of man or scheme of the enemy that's trying to um, stop them from coming into that position, Lord, that those schemes would be canceled in Jesus name, Lord, and that your will would be done in this situation in Jesus mighty name. So good. Uh, awesome one is your handle on YouTube. And uh, you put yo yo. And I actually, uh, I actually saw yo yo going back and forth, back and forth. And uh, I actually heard the words, uh, I am convinced of what God, God has done in me. And I feel like you're stepping into a time where you are fully convinced of what the Lord has done in your life and how he's redeemed your life um, out of the miry clay is what Psalm says. And so uh, I just bless that transition from yo-yo to I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure to I am fully convinced of what God has done in me and, and you cannot convince me otherwise. And so if you need that, if you feel like you're um, on today and you feel like you've been yo-yoing, I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure, you know, um, about different things with the Lord. Like, I know, I know Jesus is the right way, but I don't know, you know, what about this and what about this? I feel like there's a, there's coming a moment in your life right now where you are fully convinced mm -hmm. um, of who you are and what he says about you. And so I just bless you right now. Um, I just uh, open your hands in front of you like you're receiving a gift. Lord, we just thank you for the full conviction of the Holy Spirit of who you are and how you are going to move in our lives. Lord, we just thank you for who you are, who you are, who you are. Lord, we just ask that you reveal to us who you say we are. Lord, we just thank you for your voice that tramples any other voice that's going on in our head, whether it be our self-talk that's so negative or um, other voices in our head. Maybe it's... Um, uh, parents or siblings or bullies at school or whatever it is, whatever those other voices, Lord, we just thank you that you are silencing the enemy, that we can be fully convinced of who you are in Jesus name. Amen. So I saw a Sandra on there and I saw you in this season of, of dryness. Like it's felt like you have been in this desert and you've been someone that has been faithful to like, just keep digging to try to find water. You're like, what am I even doing here? This is terrible. I like, I don't understand, but you've been so faithful to dig. And I feel like um, that's even been for like praying for your nations, praying for your family, praying for um, just everything in your life. It has just felt so dry. And I kept hearing the Lord say, keep digging, Sandra. You're about to hit water. I'm about to turn this, all the prayers that you've been speaking into an oasis. And not only will you benefit from it, but everybody around you, this is going to be an oasis in a desert. 
do not be distracted. Do not um, do not try to pull out from what is uncomfortable. Um, your prayers have been making changes and you're about to see the fruit of it. So get ready for water. Get ready for that Holy Spirit release to just replenish the land and replenish the people in your life. In Jesus name, I just declare that she is faithful in prayer. Amen. It's such a good word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, it's that time. It is my privilege to um, announce to you guys something new that we're doing this year. Every month this year, we're going to have a different uh, challenge around a different theme. And this is really like Rachel was saying, um, this is for the people who have been just tuning in every week so faithfully. And we've just been blown away by you guys, just the way that you have really taken ownership of this time every week, the way that you um, seek the Lord for words of knowledge and, and for encouraging words for each other in the chat, the way that you're always praying for each other in the chat, the way you're praying for us in the chat. We so value your prayers and we see this as um, part of our global um, community of believers who are called to awaken the world. And we um, we just wanted to do something this year that would help you um, just activate your faith throughout the week. So we're going to have different challenges with different um, action steps to activate your faith. And this month, our challenge is Vision 2024. So we're going to be seeking the Lord for His vision for our lives in 2024. The verse I want to share is from Habakkuk 2.2. It says, then the Lord answered me and said, write the vision down and make it plain on tablets that he that he may run who reads it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So we're really going to take to heart that that encouragement in scripture that says write the vision down and make it plain so that the people can run with it and so we actually have a free um, worksheet that you can download if you go to the link in the description or the qr code there on your screen you can download this worksheet and it actually has different categories where you're just going to be seeking the lord pressing in for what he's saying over 2024 and um, this first week we're going to be um, focusing on the top three boxes on that worksheet. So we're going to be seeking the Lord for um, first looking back at 2023, thanking him for everything that he did in our lives in 2023. And then we'll go on to the next two boxes, which are seeking the Lord for one scripture verse and then seeking him for either a one word or a short phrase that will be the prophetic word that we stand on in 2024. So our challenge is to you this week, download the worksheet and then fill out those top three boxes. Make sure you're spending time in prayer um, and asking the Lord just what his vision is for, um, for your life this year. And then um, we would love to hear what the Lord is speaking to you so you can share um, with this hashtag, hashtag prophecy today vision, and then we'll be able to see on social media um, all of your responses. And then next week we'll be sharing um, some different responses. So we invite you um, to take part in this challenge. You've, each month we'll have a different challenge. So our January challenge is just pressing into the Lord um, for vision. So let's just pray. Um, an impartation even right now, Lord, would you speak to us, Holy Spirit? We just ask, Lord, would you speak to everyone watching? We ask that you would download your vision, Lord, um, to them for this year. We pray for that prophetic vision, Lord, that they would um, just know that they know that they know what you are calling them into this year, Lord, whether that be in their personal time with you, whether that be in their family, in outreach, in their finances, God, that you would download the specific vision to them for every area of their lives. We bless you guys with heaven's vision for your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Vision, vision, vision over everybody watching. We're just believing that the Lord um, will visit you in dreams, in literal visions, yeah. in yeah. Uh, in your quiet time with the Lord as um, Lauren was speaking about grace over the secret place. As mm -hmm. as you enter into the secret place, we're, we're believing and contending for 
with you um, for the Lord to come in vision over your life. And so we just cannot wait to see those hashtags start to come in of, of what your verse of the year is, what the word, the prophetic word of the year is. You know, we've been working on that as a team as well. So maybe eventually we'll share a little bit of that, yeah. maybe. <laughs> um maybe in a couple of weeks, but uh, we just wanted to, we're so excited to be able to help you guys grow, to um, give you guys resources, to learn more about um, walking fully in the supernatural the way that we do. And so we're super excited about it. Yes. So I got a word for edgy in Maryland. I saw you totally on fire, my friend. Mm-hmm. Um, I kept hearing those words um, from that song, um, Lord, make me a house, make me a house of prayer. Let the fire on my altar never go out. I just saw like you have been faithful to like just become a furnace for the Lord and the Lord has been blessing you with fire. But um, not only that, I feel like there is a there is an anointing and a call to help the people in your community also burn. Um, and I feel like it's in teaching people how to pray and just get deep with the Lord in different ways to pray and commune with the Lord. So I even just see even deeper levels of creativity in how we experience him and how people can uniquely experience him. I just feel like that is such a gift and call for you. So in Jesus name, Lord God, I thank you that edgy is made in the image of the creator and lord not only are you just releasing creativity in her to just release that house of prayer in her heart lord but also help other people to release being a house of prayer and release fire fiery prayer fiery love for you lord god and devotion in jesus name amen amen I just heard the Lord say that he um, wants to break alcohol addictions today. Um, So if that is you, if that is something that you struggle with, and maybe no one even knows that it's a struggle, maybe you hide it really well. I feel like there's someone on who um, actually you, you hide it well, and maybe you even hide it from yourself. And I just feel like there's grace today um, for, for you to surrender that to the Lord. And I just want to pray right now. I thank you, Jesus, that the anointing breaks the heavy yoke of bondage. And so right now in Jesus' mighty name, I speak to any spirit of addiction right now to be broken by the power and authority of Jesus for alcohol addiction to be broken in Jesus' mighty name. And even right now, Lord, I also pray for pornography addictions to be broken right now by the power and authority of Jesus. And I just even see a picture, like I just hear there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And I even break the power of the shame and the condemnation that have kept you trapped in those cycles of addiction, even the loneliness and the hopelessness that have kept you trapped in those cycles of addiction. And I pray, Holy Spirit, would you just come into the depths of their soul right now, into every part of their soul, Lord, that actually needs a love encounter with God. I pray for love encounters into those parts of their soul in Jesus' mighty name, Lord, that you would even heal the trauma that's keeping them trapped in those addictions. And right now, Lord, I just bless them. And we just say, come, Holy Spirit, do what only you can do. And we declare breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yeah, I'm seeing so many people on here standing for family members as well. Mm -hmm. And so we just declare that over them as well. Um, that no addiction can stand in the presence of the Lord. Amen. 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 Come on. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I actually have a couple words of knowledge for actually optic nerve. So if you have a problem with your optic nerve, uh, MCL or ACL and uh, a hip problems. So if you have any of those uh, conditions, just put those in that chat. We'd love to pray for you. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we declare full healing over the optic nerve, over every part of the eye. Lord Jesus, we um, bring alignment to the optic nerve in the name of Jesus. And if there's any retinal tears or um, where the optic nerve is actually being cut off from um, some sort, maybe uh, cancer, maybe um uh, I'm not sure what, but I feel like it's being torn right now. So, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we declare full healing, full restoration over the optic nerve. We declare full connection over the optic nerve that you would be able to see clearly uh, what is in front of you right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for the MCL and the ACL 
full connection and uh, tissue reconnection over those parts of the body right now in the name of Jesus, uh, full healing over those parts of the body and any hip problems. Lord, we thank you for how you are putting the hip into alignment, into place, Lord, you are aligning the rest of the bones as you align the hip joint in the name of Jesus. We thank you for um, the covering. I forgot what it's called, but it's like a, a cushion in between the the hip joint. So Lord, we thank you for that right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Um, I have a word for Patsy. I missed your last name, so sorry. But um, I just saw you as um, the Lord just absolutely feels you are spectacular. You are a sign and a wonder in this coming generation. Mm -hmm. So I um, I felt like you were feeling underappreciated or underseen and the Lord has just been doing this thing like keeping you keeping you hidden so we can cultivate something really profound in you cuz man girl he has created you for for such power and such glory but not only that like I feel like he's called you to be able to see people that have not felt seen and be a voice for those that have not felt heard. And um, even for women, being a voice for women and really championing female voices, I just see that kind of coming upon you. So in Jesus' name, Lord, I thank you that Patsy truly is a sign and a wonder and such a blessing to this generation. Lord God, I thank you that she was created for such a time, Lord God. And we just declare that her voice matters and it is profound, Lord God. And she is one that is going to call so many people up higher and especially women up higher to take their rightful place with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Um, I also have a, a couple more words of knowledge that I want to go after for healing. Um, if you have any ovarian cysts, either benign or cancerous, I just want to pray for that. Right now, in Jesus' name, Lord, we just um, speak to any cysts on the ovaries um, to even dissolve right now by the power and authority of Jesus. Lord, um, we just speak even um, restoration to infertility in Jesus' mighty name if you're married and you um, have the desire for children. Um, right now, Lord, I just speak um to the womb to be healed right now in Jesus mighty name for any um, root cause of infertility to be healed in Jesus name. And I was also hearing breast cancer. So right now, Lord, I just speak to any lumps in the breast to also dissolve right now in Jesus name. We command every cancer cell to die in Jesus name. And we speak the resurrection power of Jesus into every cell of their body right now in Jesus mighty name. Also leukemia. I rebuke leukemia in the mighty name of Jesus. I actually see a picture. Um, I'm not sure if it's a little girl, but I see a picture of someone who has lost their hair and they're wearing a pink um, head covering, a pink bandana. And um, I just bless you right now. If that's you, um, the Lord sees you and he is fighting for you. And we pray for your complete and total healing right now in Jesus mighty name. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Eric Flores from Panama. Uh, I actually feel like there's something in business that's going very slowly and it's unusually slow. Like there's unusual low profits. Um, business just isn't as good as it should be. Um, and I just bless your business right now in the name of Jesus where we come against any um, warfare right now over his business right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for how you are um, putting the the guards in place over his business. And we just thank you for how you're moving, Lord. We thank you that in the next week that um, profits would increase, that business would increase, that that that, that um, slow, that that dam would break over his business right now in the name of Jesus. And if you're needing that in your business, in your life as well, Lord, we just thank you for the resources of heaven to come in. We thank you that you come against any plans, any schemes of the enemy you cannot stand when you are um, involved, Lord Jesus. And so we thank you for how you are standing um, to our defense in our businesses, in our finances, and in our um, resources right now in the name of Jesus.
Yes. And if that word spoke to you, if you're actually longing for more breakthrough in mm -hmm. your business, even if you feel stuck in any area in your business, I do want to invite you to our Kings and Priests Conference, which is coming up this February. So it's coming up in a month. It's right here in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. And we would love to have you if you are a leader in the business realm or if you are just called um, to the business realm. We invite you to come, come for impartation of how to partner with the Holy Spirit in your place of work. You're going to um, have our speakers will lay hands on you. There'll be times of impartation. Our GSSM students will be um, prophesying over you and even just speaking prophetically into your business. Um, you can sign up by going to globalawakening.com slash events. Um, and all, we're going to have some amazing speakers there. Dr. Randy Clark will be there. Joanne Moody, Leif Hetland, Catherine Burnett, Jonathan Sparks, who's actually Catherine's brother and a very, um, just an, carries amazing revelation um, into seeking the Lord for vision in business. So um, we want to invite you, come out to Kings and Priests, and we would love to see you here in Mechanicsburg. So I saw that um, Shania has been dealing with sleep apnea. Um, I've had the pleasure of praying for a few people that have had sleep apnea and see the Lord totally heal them. So I have faith for this. So I just wanted to pray for you. I also saw that you were dealing with some heavy metal poisoning and just digestion issues. But Jesus, Lord, I thank you that you are not a God that is bound by time or space, Lord God. And I thank you that I have seen you heal sleep apnea, Lord God. And we just speak to everything in Shania's body, Lord God, that has been out of alignment. And we just say, heal, heal, come and heal, full healing in Jesus' name of sleep apnea, that tonight she would be able to rest fully, that you would even restore dreaming for her, Lord God, that that is a place that you want to commune with her so that when she's sleeping her full eight hours, Lord God, that's going to be your holy time with her. So we just absolutely cast out anything that has been causing an issue with her sleep, Lord God. And right now we even, anybody else that has been dealing with apnea issues, Lord God, I thank you that you are healing that. You are healing that, healing that because you want them to have good night sleeps, Lord God. But also this is your place to commune with your children is in dreams. So in Jesus, Jesus' name, I just thank you for what you're doing, full healing. Yeah, and we're seeing my son struggles with sleep apnea, complete restoration to her body. Um, <clears throat> so we just thank you so much for coming alongside us, praying for those uh, in the chat. We just, we love seeing how you guys are just such a community and coming together uh, in that. I have a couple more words of knowledge. I have, um, I feel feel like it was this joint or disconfigured, disfigured <laughs> joints, um, especially in fingers. Like if your finger is stuck a certain way, um, I just feel like the Lord wants to heal it right now in the name of Jesus. So in the name of Jesus, any joints or um, uh, things stuck into place, <laughs> Lord, we just thank you for how you can heal um, each and every part of our body. And so, Lord, we just ask for uh, the rubber bands of heaven to be uh distributed over those parts of our body, Lord. We thank you for fingers and uh, joints to be aligned and move in the way that you created them to move. Or we thank you for how you can um, do even the littlest things that we think are not important. We thank you that you think that they're important. And um, we thank you that you can um, heal this as well. So we thank you for your healing and um, just that, yeah, I just feel, try it try it. Mm -hmm. If there's something that um, was stuck a certain way, maybe from arthritis or something, Lord, um, I just feel like just, just, just try it out and see what the Lord is doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. Um, and if you're actually unfamiliar um, with um, this kind of praying for healing, that is such a key, like Rachel said, to actually test it immediately. That's actually an act of faith. Um, you're putting your faith in the fact that the Lord wants to heal you right now. You know, sometimes it's like, oh, yeah, I believe that generally the Lord might heal me someday. But faith is actually active and faith is pulling heaven into this very present moment. So I do encourage you if um, any of your conditions have been tested or have been called out on this live today, or even if, if your specific condition has not been called out, 
but you just feel the Lord touching you or you believe that he's healing you, then test it out. And that actually demonstrates that you have faith that he wants to heal you. Um, so try to do something you couldn't do before, test where the pain level is at. And please let us know. Um, we want to hear what the Lord is doing. Put it in the chat. Also, we'd love to for um, you to email us at testimonies at globalawakening.com, especially if you have, um, if you've experienced a full healing, we would love to hear that. Um, and one more word of knowledge for healing I want to go after. I just heard the Lord say he's healing celiac disease and gluten allergies right now in Jesus my name. And also I just heard um, lactose intolerance. So right now, Lord, I just speak um, to, to people's intestines right now to be healed to their digestive systems, their digestive tracts right now to be healed healed in Jesus mighty name. I even see damage to the intestine um, being restored. Lord, I thank you that you're even giving people brand new intestines, even where it has been destroyed by celiac disease. I thank you, Lord, for a creative miracle in their intestine right now in Jesus name. I rebuke celiac disease and I pray God that you completely heal food allergies right now in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Yeah, I actually had the same exact thing. And um, I heard esophagus as well. So Lord, Amen. just to, to piggyback off that, Lord, we thank you for how you are healing the esophagus and any damage that's been done to the esophagus due to intolerances and gluten sensitivities in Jesus name. Uh, Amen. Amen. And I just saw a comment about stomach ulcer. So as well, mm -hmm. Lord, ulcers, we say mm -hmm. be healed right now in Jesus mighty name. Yes, Lord. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. So I saw Rose um, in the chat. Um, I think I saw you earlier. You were um, you were wanting prayer for a job. And then I saw you again in the chat asking for prayer for your parents. Um, this isn't necessarily a word, but I just felt the overwhelming tenderness and love that the Lord has for you. And I just wanted um, everybody out there, if we could just kind of join together and pray for Rose. Um, Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for how much you love Rose. And I thank you for every single tear that you've even cried with her, that you've seen her in the secret place and you've seen every area in her life where there has been brokenness or there hasn't been fulfillment. Lord, and I thank you that you have the perfect job for her in Jesus' name, Lord, and that you are revealing yourself as provider, that you are even with her every single step of the way. Lord, and I thank you for her parents, Lord, and how much you love them and desire them. Lord God, and I thank you that you know how to woo their hearts, you know, what they need in order to completely surrender to you. So in Jesus' name, I just thank you for just that much more of an encounter for Rose. Wow, I just feel the Lord's love for you so profoundly, Lord. And I just thank you that even right now in this moment, she would feel your presence overwhelm her, that she would even have fresh vision for how you see her and how you see these situations Lord, and I thank you that this is not the end of her story, but it's a chapter and the end of it is going to be glorious in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Well, earlier we talked about being fully convinced of the gospel, fully convinced that Jesus is who he says he is. And if you are not fully convinced or you like more uh, information about it, we have this book available. It is uh, Dr. Clark's Destined for the Cross, 16 Reasons Jesus Had to Die. And uh, it's just an amazing, amazing book on how um, every single one of um, the prophetic words had to come true of who Jesus is. And it just says who he is and why he came Um why he came to the cross so that we could be fully reborn. And so we thank you um, for ordering that. Uh, it's 20% off. The link is in the description below. And uh, that is a resource for you uh, as well. So, um, and then I also wanted to tag on here, there's a trip coming up. So if you would like to go on a trip with Global Awakening, we are going to Columbia in April. Come so Colombia, here we come. I know we have some 
uh, Colombians on usually. And so uh, we are coming to a city near you <laughs> in Colombia. Uh, go ahead and go to globalawakening.com slash trips for more information on that trip. Um, and we would love to see you there. So that's a resource for you as well to get connect more connected to us and get activated in um, ministering the supernatural um, wherever you go. So uh, yeah. that is a and now tool. <laughs> it is time. It is it is we're, it we're a little late, but it's time for our lightning <laughs> round. Lightning. We're gonna take the last five minutes of our live and we're going to go lightning fast. We're gonna try to hit as many of you as possible in our mm -hmm. lightning round. So either throw an emoji of lightning in the chat or throw um, your name in the chat so that we can um, just get a fresh uh, view of who's still on with us. And we're gonna go as fast as possible for the lightning round. All right. Uh, Susan Bull Blahut, uh, I just saw the fullness of joy over you. I saw Psalms 16 verse 11, which I actually have here. You make known to me the path of life in your presence is fullness of joy and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. So I just bless you with that, Susan. Joy, joy, joy over you. Jean, I saw you like a rhinoceros ready to charge. Um, I saw that the Lord has placed something in your heart and you are absolutely on fire and ready. So I just release that fire over you to charge, 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 charge. You are made to run. You are made to break through. There is such a breaker anointing even on you to just break through the hard things and even atmospheres. So in Jesus name, bless her. Carol Ann Cockerell, I um, heard the Lord call you a songbird, and I saw this really sweet um, voice just coming out of you, um, but I heard the Lord say, don't be deceived. The sweetness of her voice doesn't even, um, like sometimes I feel like the people dismiss you and just like call you, oh, you're just sweet, but you are so powerful in the spirit, and I feel like the sweetness of your voice even disarms principalities and powers, and so I feel like the Lord is just saying to sing, Carol, and that your voice is just so powerful to break strongholds in Jesus' name. Lucas uh, from Brazil, um, I heard, uh, remember your inheritance, that humility and grace are your inheritance. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I just bless you to step more fully into the grace and the humility that is your inheritance. You have full permission to walk in your inheritance right now in the name of Jesus. I saw something for Noah Butler. I saw you like David dancing before the Lord, completely undignified. I feel like there is uh, the Lord is just releasing this ability to to worship, just worship through hard things, worship through blessing. And it is absolutely going to just change environments around you. So I bless you to be that much more undignified in love with him. Amen. Dimitri from Hope of Glory Ministries. Um, I just heard the Lord say that you have um, a gift of creative miracles, and I feel like the gift of healing and miracles is going to increase in your life, even in this season. And I hear God say, press in, press in. And I feel like pressing in for you in this um, season looks like praying for way more people um, than you have in the past. I feel like you are already so faithful, but I feel like the Lord is like, just pray for even more people. The more people you pray for, the more people are going to get healed. And so right now, Lord, I I bless Dimitri and I pray for an impartation, Lord, an increase for healing, miracle signs and wonders on his life and his ministry in Jesus' mighty name. And Amy Marie, I actually saw a rose opening and I heard um, the the fragrance of heaven fills the room. And so I just bless you with that. I bless you with the fragrance of heaven. I bless you with that open rose that you would be ever open before the Lord uh, in Jesus' name. Lucian Rodriguez, I saw a fresh encounter coming your way. I saw your whole room and your body and everything completely lit on fire with the Lord's presence. So in Jesus name, I bless her to just absolutely experience you in fullness and glory in Jesus name, man, have fun. 
<laughs> Arnold Lee, I heard the Lord calling you a general, um, and I saw you just leading these troops to battle. And um, I just even see like angel armies being released when you pray. Um, and I feel like there is a gift of leadership on your life. The Lord is just calling you to even step into um, leadership with greater confidence that he is the one who has called you. I feel like maybe sometimes there might be just like you're very humble and you might not want the spotlight, but God is like just asking you to partner with what he says about you and to step with confidence into those places of leadership that he's calling you into. So I bless you, Arnold, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that's pretty much all we have time for today. We are so blessed by you. Thank you for being here on the first prophecy, prophecy today, today of the year. Of the year. <laughs> so yeah. we are just so blessed by you. Thank you for being here. Thank you to all of our um, people that just come week in and week out. And thank you for anyone who is new. Uh, it's just such a blessing to see you here uh, today. If you would like, subscribe and share, hit that notification bell, whatever it is that you need to do, we just love to minister and um, encourage people around you. And so the more that you do those things, the more that we are able to reach the people around us to be able to do that more often. Uh, and if you would like to partner with us, partners are people who come along this side, this ministry financially. You can be a partner for as little as $10 a month. And we're just so, um, this is able to be done, all of this uh, by partners. And so we just encourage you, wanted to give you that opportunity today here at the end. And uh, is there anything else we have? Um, we'll just tune in next week. Oh, yeah. Also, we're going to be dropping new co uh, content on our YouTube right at 3 p.m. EST, yeah. EST. So stay on YouTube um, for a fresh video. Um, we bless you guys. And don't oh. forget to download I your I was going to say the... The vision, yes. the vision challenge. Don't, Don't forget, forget about the vision challenge. You can go um, to the link in the description, scan the QR code to download your free vision 2024 worksheet. And we can't wait to hear from you guys next week what God is speaking mm -hmm. to you. So bless you guys. Welcome and we to hope 2024. You have an amazing Yay. week. Bye. Bye.